Hello friends and welcome to my Friday night. We are in my bathroom. It's the start of the weekend vlog. Now there's darkness. It is, what time is it? It's 7.17. Y'all probably can't see that. It's 7.17 and I've decided that I am going to go say hey and get a coffee with the beautifully awesome Shauna Mini. We're gonna put on my new winter, nope, rain jacket. This is the North Face jacket. I think I talked about it in, sorry. I don't have a tripod yet for you guys. Um, I think I talked about it last weekend and I got it at the buy and sell and I did a really crappy showing of it. But here it is, let me put it on for you. I have deodorant all over my shirt and I couldn't be bothered to change it. So we're just gonna go with it. Um, I texted Shauna about an hour ago. My international student is actually not in town tonight. She's gone with her organization on an adventure. So I was like, what am I going to do? I have free time. Um, so I messaged, of course, Shauna, because she is my standby. And she ever so kindly answered the call of duty. <laughs> and she and I are going to hit up a Starbies. This is the Colt. I really like it. I've been wearing it all week. We're gonna hit up a Starbucks. Um, hit up, oh, I should probably turn all the lights off in the house. Um, hit up a Starbucks, hit up Stavanger Drive. I'm definitely gonna get a tripod for you guys tonight because this is making me hella crazy. Uh, I had some onion rings for supper. It is 719. Bye bye house. I'll see you in the car. Let's have a chat. The, there has been a lot happening in my world, um, and it's going to continue to happen, guys. Oh, no. We're losing light fast. Um, we have a YouTubers meetup October 6th, so that's going to be a thing. I should drive like this because this is safe. Um, so, what's new? This has been the week that the mind of Jake Paul has taken over the interwebs, you guys. Um... It is no secret, Shane, Shane Dawson has broke the internet. There's also a lot of controversy around it, so I wanted to share my thoughts. Um, I mean, Shane has outright said he is not a doctor and he is not trying to diagnose anybody. Personally, I hate Logan and Jake Paul. I just think they're horrible excuses for human beings based on their actions online. And I know that's really harsh, but they're violent, they're disrespectful, and they're cruel. And we already live in a world that is so full of toxicity and cruelty that I don't think we need people encouraging other people to be cruel in the world. That being said, Shane Dawson's series have always been intriguing to me. Um, and it started with Graveyard Girl. I personally loved Bunny back in the day, and I, like everyone else, noticed a change in her and never, I don't wanna say I stopped watching, but I mean, you, like, I watch enough content creators that sometimes you, you almost forget if one of your old favorites isn't uploading because they get lost in the mix. And I think Shane helped people realize that with Bunny's series. Then he did, what did he do next? Did he do Tanacon then? Thank you to Tanacon. And truthfully, I never even knew who Tana was. I knew nothing about Tanacon until Shane's series. So I had no, like, you know, I was just intrigued by the Bunny series, so I watched the Tana series. I was, the Jeffree Star series, I, I don't know, man. I didn't, like, I knew of Jeffree Star. I knew of his cosmetics line. I knew who Jeffree was. Um, do I have an opinion on Jeffree Star? I think he's got really cute dogs, but that's essentially all I know about Jeffree Star. I think I have two lipsticks belong to him. I got him in a makeup swap, but I mean, like, I don't know enough about him to form an opinion other than his Snapchat. It's a bit snarky and a bit saucy and a bit mean sometimes at times, but and a bit vulgar, but I mean, he's human. And when Shane... Um, did the series on Jeffrey. I went from never watching Jeffrey Star videos to I don't miss one now. And it's not even because I'm 110% on board with the content that Jeffrey is posting, but I respect Jeffrey as a human being. 
And that doesn't mean you have to like his content or love his cosmetics line. I mean, his palettes are definitely not for me. The lip glosses I have from him are okay. I mean, I wouldn't buy them myself. I'm glad I got them in a swap. So that brings me back to Jake Paul. Personally can't stand the fella, but for some reason I am digging Shane Dawson's series. It's not even a word, Amanda. Like the Shane Dawson show, if you will, has become, it's better than TV. Um, he's giving the Kardashians a run for their money. And um, I don't know, like as a viewer, I'm into it. From the mental health side of things, I can see how it's triggering. Um, in part two, they reference the DSM-5. Um, the DSM-5 is a, a book all mental health professionals use to diagnose people. Um, in the profession I work in, we have one in our office. And for the first time ever, I was intrigued and flipped it open and was curious to like read the sociopath section because of Shane Dawson. But that doesn't mean you look at every person and think, oh my God, they're sociopaths. You know what I mean? It's kind of like looking at someone who got away with the crime and then just assuming everyone else who has that person's mannerisms is also a criminal that never got caught it doesn't make sense so it really depends on the person and it's just i don't know i don't think we should be categorizing people as sociopaths i don't think people should be ripping shane dawson apart for defining a sociopath because he's not diagnosing jake he's just trying to get in jake's head because clearly no one's ever done it and it's a very weird place and my mind obviously isn't like Jake Paul's so to be able to see or hopefully be able to see Shane get a look inside of Jake Paul's mind may explain a lot to a lot of people and if that man has mental health problems I wish him the best of luck in getting the best course of treatment for them if he chooses to accept that. Will I ever subscribe to Jake Paul? Absolutely not. I have the utmost respect for Shane Dawson to be as brave as he is and as humble as he is. The man is gonna give himself his own form of mental health problems from doing what he's doing. But it's a different kind of thing. Shane is, I don't wanna say Shane's no better than Jake because to be quite honest with you, Shane Dawson, I don't know what these people, um, but from what Shane puts out on his content, he's a genuine caring soul. The Paul brothers just aren't, just like other people on YouTube. They post crazy garbage to get views and to reach the numbers and to go viral instead of creating content that makes them happy. And I think right now that's the issue in YouTube. Everyone's chasing views. And instead of chasing views, why don't we just create content that makes us feel good and makes us happy? Because I create content because I think it's a great source of anxiety relief for me and I like being lost in makeup. I like shooting main channel videos. I like the friendships I've gained from YouTube, but it doesn't mean we compete with each other. Shauna has many, many more subscribers than me, but it doesn't mean she's better. It means we're good friends and we both have the same hobby. Same thing with Nicole. Nicole is super successful on her channel and I'm so proud of her. Her 31 days of Halloween is like truly, I think that was the tipping point for her and she's extraordinary at it. And I'm so proud of her that she has that platform and she's so talented and it's, it's great. And it's like, why can't we all just lift each other up? Liz just reached her milestone. She's doing a giveaway. She set a goal, she reached it. I'm proud of her. It is what it is. We all, set our own goals internally. We all create content because we want to and it doesn't have to be a competition and it also doesn't have to be dangerous. So when you have people like Jake Paul and Logan Paul and I, I don't watch these controversial YouTubers because I personally don't like them. Like I don't like the message they're giving. Um, but when you have people like that telling young people that it's okay to set a mattress on fire and put it in a pool, or it's okay to taser your friends, and then we wonder why there's so much bad in the world. And so I just think when we're putting content online, we have to be careful. Um, I don't think Shane Dawson should be getting ripped apart by medical professionals because he's clearly stated he's not one. He's sharing his opinion, just like I'm sharing my opinion right now. So, I mean, I think we all need to judge a little less and be a little bit more opening and be a little bit more open and be a little bit more kind to one another before we're so like quick to pass judgment, even though I know I just pass judgment on the Paul brothers. But I mean, the headlines speak for themselves, if you will. I mean, Jake Paul's been arrested multiple times. So whether it's a stunt or not, it's happened. So he's done some bad things. That doesn't mean he doesn't deserve help. If he chooses to accept some sort of help after this whole series and he's come to terms with it, 
then good for him and I hope he gets the help he needs and he's able to turn his life around because it can be done, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm ridiculous. Who knows? There's Shauna now. Hey, hello. We got the goods. I got a caramelized coffee. What did you get? Caramel apple spice. Can you explain to the net what this is? It is pressed apple juice with cinnamon dulce syrup, whipped cream, and caramel. Thank you, Starbucks nerd. I don't nerd. work at Starbucks. <laughs> no, she doesn't, but she made me try it the other night, and it's actually, like, I don't think I'd order, order it, but, I mean, it ain't bad. It's like a nighttime drink for her. And you guys haven't noticed, you are on a tripod now, and I just showed you the coffee as if it was a tripod. We got a tripod at Best Buy, <laughs> and it was under $12. I call that a vlogger win. Ooh, those are cute. Those I DK know, I think I'm gonna need them. Okay, how come the Kendall and Kylie boots are only 99, but the DK and Ys are 179? And regularly 350. <laughs> and Kendall and Kylie are regular 150. What in the bloody mother of bleeping bleeps is this? Go that is you. not. That is you. not. <laughs> that is not a Newfoundland boot. Is that a I mean, it could be. YOLO. We're in Marshalls, by the way, if I didn't tell you all that. <laughs> well, guys, we have to go back to Best Buy, but we're not going to make it before they close at 9, so that's going to be a tomorrow problem because the tripod, when I just took it out to vlog, broke. So that didn't even last two hours. I mean, I can still use it, but I can't extend the leg on one of the, the legs, so that's annoying. Struggle. But I mean, we can make it work for the vlog this weekend, and then we'll go back to Best Buy when we go to Costco next week. No biggie. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Worst things have happened in life, but it's just annoying. It's just annoying. <laughs> Even you're like, ugh. ugh. It's annoying, right? It is. My sock is falling off. Struck. You didn't even notice I'm wearing pants. I noticed the jeans. I didn't notice the odds, uh, the socks. <laughs> with the... I, okay, just for the record, I had vacuumed and I didn't want to bend over and put on my like shoes. So I was just like, I have socks on, screw it. And that's exactly what I did. Yeah, so we're at Winners, but they're soon closing. We're looking for some fab finds. They have a lot of real technique stuff for anyone who is looking. That hole. <laughs> she loves it here, I love it. I love this. This is me. I'd never be able to fit all my makeup in here. But this is me. It's your aesthetic. It's my aesthetic. Totes. That's cute too. You have a lot of cute stuff all the time. How you doing? This is my mood. Mood. My mood on a Friday night. Merp. It's Blue Blood's premiere night. But I don't have cable, so I have to wait for it to go up online so I can download it. Struggle. Strug bus. It'll be up within an hour after it airs. And it started at 8.30, so by the time I get home, should be good. Um, <laughs> YOLO. That's our update, guys. We've commenced a quest to be those jerks in retail space. Michael's closes at 9. It's 8.55. We are looking for Lauren's DIY line that she launched at Michael's, Walmart, and everywhere else. And it's available everywhere in Canada, but as per the usual series of unfortunate events in Newfoundland, can't find it. There's a planner in there I really want, which I think I talked about when I was in the corner Brook Walmart when I found some of the beads from the collection like the week it came out. But I mean, I'm not seeing anything. Can you see it online to like check and see what's in stores too? Like well, like I said, it's all find in store for Walmart. Um, haven't been able to find it. You know, like the last time I was here, I met a subscriber. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, having a moment. Guys, do we know if it's here? Uh, yeah, she released a planner. Yeah, maybe it's with planners. Not I don't like, know. You know, separate from the craft stuff? Yeah, maybe. I don't they might know. have it all divided off. Guys, I low key don't know what I'm doing. I feel like Alicia today. Frazzled and tired. Strug. Strug life. Send help, guys. If you see it, please tell us. I'm debating if I need to pee. Okay, I'm doing it, and it's 50% off. I don't know if there's anything in here I want, no, but, but at least more. we know the collection has made it and it it's is half price. It's the jewelry making stuff for the most part. Anything good here? Now oh. this is said, like specifically says jewelry making and apparel crafts, so maybe there's still another area. 
There's even brushes, guys. <gasps> moose, moose! Katie and Nikki were wondering where I learned how to do the whole moose, moose. thing on staycation. This was her. All her fault. Moose, moose! There is stuff here. Is it weird that I want to buy something to be supportive? No, I get that. I used to have her sweater. Oh, really? The YouTube is my cardio sweater. It was done by Laura DIY. Oh my god. I they still have another section though. You know I, I, mean? I don't know. Because this is the jewelry making section. Yeah, and these are not her brushes. But we found the jewelry making session. That's okay. Ah, I'm home. I am starving. Um, so we're just going to make a little pita pizza. I want to show you what I picked up at the Zidolorama. I cannot lose this Best Buy bag. Just to be clear, this is the tripod I picked up. It is the Insignia. 5.5 inch mini tripod stabilizes your camera camcorder while on the go extends up to eight inches well this part here that little black bead is what fell off so bringing this back tomorrow even though i'm currently still using it because i wanted to like continue the vlog so yolo um but i'm eating my hair i got molly her first of i'm sure what's going to be multiple christmas gifts i got her it's a molly size rope so that's my first Christmas gift of the season, you guys. Like, low-key super proud of myself. It is still September and I've started Christmas gift shopping. I got these. I, as you guys know, I'm a meal prep fiend and I like making like decent sized portions in here. So I'm going to do that again soon. I mean, I think it's great for like making a shepherd's pie or making a spaghetti sauce and just like freezing it or mini lasagna. Like that kind of stuff, that's what I do. So I got 10 of these. I really wanna like buckle down and like proper get into like doing this like every week or every other week. I still have one big one left, which is nice. Um, now work is texting me. Shauna and I talked at end about the Shane Dawson thing tonight because we are pretty much the same opinion, which is kind of nice. Um, but Shane tweeted out today that he's not posting again till Monday. He's gonna do part three on Monday, part four on Tuesday, part five on Wednesday, and do three days in a row, which is like the best kickoff to the week. Like low key stoked, but ultimately I see, like I can't see us surviving the weekend without a, a Shane Dawson video. It's gonna be weird. Anyway, I'm hyper because I drank that venti iced coffee after 7.30 at night. Oh jeez, but before nine. No good can come from this. I'm probably going to end up with a daily Friday vlog. I am sorry. I think I'm going to sit down and edit. I got some batteries at the Dollarama because the Xbox remote takes AA batteries. And it's been like, like, you know how when our, if you guys have an Xbox, you know what I mean? It, the green light that like is the power light fades a lot when it's dying and it is low key, like dead. And I've been like, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. And yeah. Yeah, I got two birthday cards for Nan, one from my brother and one from us girls, myself, Lady Lola, and my student. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think is that all I got in the Oh, no. Um, as well, my student told me she loves these, so I picked up a whole sleeve of them for her. So I'm going to put those in her room for when she gets back from her trip tomorrow. As a welcome home, you were missed present. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make my pita pizza. I'm gonna pack up this tripod for Best Buy tomorrow. Whoa, tomorrow's return. And we're gonna get that done. So, <laughs> low key tired, but I love you guys. <laughs> Still watching YouTube. This is Katie Betsing now. These are yoga pants. Wait, you don't think this outfit's cute? Pizza. It's 10:10. I'm waiting for Blue Bloods to go live online so I can watch it. So I have a feeling this is going to be the end of this vlog. I'm sorry I didn't continue the weekend vlog. I'm going to try to get some footage of tomorrow and Sunday for Nan's birthday. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe. Turn on notifications. And Laura DIY liked my tweet. I love you guys. Bye.